The Galapagos Islands, a daily challenge for survival. Join us as we take a trip to one of the most dramatic places on Earth, the Galapagos Islands. Get ready to see some extraordinary landscapes and exotic animals that you won't soon forget. Suddenly, as we were diving one morning, a huge shadow loomed overhead. We thought at first it was a boat, but then we saw the fins. It was a whale shark. Even though they are the size of a school bus, whale sharks are gentle giants that sift plankton and small fish from the water, much like a baleen whale. They are also the largest fish in the world. Darwin also applied his theory about adaptation to the best known and possibly most dramatic of the endemic reptiles, the giant tortoise, usually known as the Galapagos tortoise. They are the largest tortoises in the world, often weighing more than 400 pounds, and some up to 600 pounds. They are the symbol of the Galapagos Islands, and also the inspiration for the island's name, since Galapago means tortoise in Spanish. They take 20 years to reach maturity and can live for a very long time, maybe even 100 to 150 years. Scientists believe that the first tortoises may have drifted to the islands on pieces of floating debris, such as logs. It is also possible that they floated here on their own with the strong currents and because they can survive for months without food or water. Tourists are able to walk right up to these gentle creatures without frightening them. Their lack of fear and slow movement have made them easy prey to humans who, in the past, captured them for fresh meat on long ocean voyages. There used to be as many as 200,000 of these tortoises, but in modern times, their numbers have dropped to as low as 15 or 16,000. The next island we made our way to is Floriana. The most remarkable inhabitants on Floriana are the marine iguanas. Over time, they have evolved into the brightly colored reptiles we see today. Here, their bright red leathery skin and long curved claws made us think of them as diving dragons. They're the only seagoing lizard in the world and can be found in only one place, the Galapagos Islands. Remarkably, these marine iguanas can dive more than 35 feet and can remain submerged for up to an hour. They feed on algae found under the water and along the tide lines of the shore and their short, blunt snouts help them crop the algae as close to the rocks as possible. When they're not diving and feeding, we can see them resting on lava rocks to bask in the sun. Their dark skin helps these cold-blooded animals regulate their body temperature by soaking up heat from the sun. Visitors like us were constantly being entertained by the occasional explosive sneeze. This is an adaptation that helps them get rid of the excess salt from the ocean water. During mating season, their dark colors become even brighter in hopes of attracting a mate. These long curved claws are believed to be another adaptation that helps them hang onto rocks while looking for food and also to avoid being swept away by the strong currents. Overall, they're considered an enormous treasure in a world faced with daily extinction of unique plants and animals. With continued care, this natural treasure will remain a shining example of preservation for the rest of the world to follow. Thanks for coming along on our visit to the Galapagos Islands. Join us again for more exciting destinations.